So, one of our most complicated patients, JD. I think he's about the sickest individual on our service right now. This is a young gentleman, 26 years old, found to have low blood counts, low white count, low red count, and a low platelet count. We don't have a diagnosis, but that's part of hematology. Like many blood disorders, it seemed to strike suddenly and mysteriously. I basically was just stopping by to get a set of uh, blood test results. I was going to take my girlfriend to the movies. The next thing the doctor said, I couldn't leave. I'm staying in for a couple of days. And what's well, been 11 days now, so here we go. But in fact, was found to have uh, rip-roaring lupus to the point where he's now dependent on dialysis. We were asked to reconsult because his platelet count has continued to fall in this, in, you know, during this entire time frame. Hi, Jose. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. Good. We brought the whole team by. We're all here. Morning, how about Feeling OK? Yeah. You see this young 26-year-old guy laying in a hospital bed, and it just feels it feels very wrong, and you can see how sick he is, and it's very unsettling, I think, for anybody to see that. You know, just trying to get an understanding of that. And... This isn't the way his life was supposed to be. Deeper? To get Jose's life back on track, the hematology team needs to know more. And uh, how long will it take to get results from this? There you go, perfect. How long will it take? About 10 minutes once we do the smear, okay? Okay, here's the slime. Okay, great. Let's see what it shows. He still has a lot of schistocytes. So what's that indicative of? TTP. TTP stands for thrombotic thrombocytopenic purpura, an extremely complex and dangerous disease. Before therapy was developed, 90% of TTP patients died. So let's look at his platelets, because that's really the ultimate readout of how active his disease is. And Jose's blood smear tells the story. To clot properly, platelets stick to the wall of an injured blood vessel. But Jose's immune system has created an antibody, blocking one of the enzymes that helps the platelets to clot. So instead of sticking to the wall of the blood vessels, Jose's platelets now clump together, creating tiny clots throughout his body and oxygen-carrying red blood cells are getting sheared in the process, causing severe anemia. It's a devastating and, before there was adequate treatment, frequently fatal disease. These are typically healthy young people who all of a sudden get dramatically ill. Just take some deep breaths in out through your mouth, Catherine. Dr. David Ginsberg is a practicing physician. Sit back up there. He's right. been researching the clotting system for the past 25 years. Dr. Ginsburg and his team at the University of Michigan in Ann Arbor discovered the crucial enzyme being blocked in TTP. It's called Adam TS13. Platelets coexist with many clotting factors. One is called von Willebrand factor, and it catches the platelets, helping them to clot. Imagine tennis balls caught on strands of flypaper. To keep the platelets from clumping together too much, Adam TS13 cuts through the von Willebrand factor and allows the platelets to continue moving. Inhibiting Adam TS13 allows dangerous blood clotting throughout the body and causes TTP. We've learned a whole new part of the way blood clotting is controlled that we didn't even know existed, and it's opened up whole new ideas of how we can treat TTP, but also how we might treat other blood clotting diseases. There's something incredibly exciting and thrilling about that, that you've got this puzzle nature's given you, and you've been able to figure out, even if it's a little teeny part of it, you've been able to figure that out, and that's tremendously gratifying. Finally, Jose's tests show a dramatic improvement. You heard the good news over the weekend about your platelets. Yes. It's really impressive, that's great. I think that all the treatment finally kicked in. 
I'm and hoping it just keeps going. The crisis resolved for now. Jose will soon be released from the hospital. Jose will remain in Dr. Jeske's care in a clinic run by hematology fellows and overseen by attending hematologists. I crashed hard. I think he and I have a special bond, and it's going to be my goal to keep him well as long as we can. And when we stumble, get him well again. You need anything from us, you give us a call, OK? Mm -hmm. But you're looking good. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll see you later, OK? All right. Dr. Jeske has test results for Jose. Your blood counts are just perfect. You know, I woke up with, the, you know, with some energy to get out of bed and do stuff. You look <laughs> like you're somebody who never had any kind of hematologic problem by these blood counts. So that's great. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's so good to see you. Good to see you it's Thank always you a pleasure. Me. To see him walk in the clinic feeling well and participating in the world again is really gratifying. It was a dramatic time for him. Thank you.